With every blank spot that we fill in on the star charts, we add another important piece of the mosaic to the overall picture of the universe, helping us to better understand the structure and composition of our cosmic home. The scientific view of the firmament is always subject to one central research aspect, the search for unknown, possibly habitable exoplanets. So far, experts have succeeded in identifying 4,000 of those planets that lie outside the solar system and are gravitationally bound to another star. While the search for new exoplanets goes hand in hand with the hope of discovering a celestial body that exhibits significant parallels to our terrestrial homeland, a view of the past galactic hits shows that some of these distant worlds exhibit almost grotesque differences to the Earth. Which strange exoplanets researchers have found so far, and which unusual coup astronomers won just recently, will reveal to you in today's video. Enthusiastic about the exciting discoveries and awe-inspiring phenomena in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Transit Method In the search for unknown planets, one method has turned out to be particularly promising. The Transit Method As the name of this method suggests, the main scientific focus is on planetary transit, or in other words, the apparent passing of a celestial body in front of its host star. If an exoplanet moves in front of its star, this is naturally always accompanied by a change in its perceivable brightness. In the context of long-term observations, these temporary changes in the brightness of stars can be detected and documented. In order to preclude galactic confusion, experts must observe at least three transits with the same time distance to each other in order to be able to conclude the existence of a planet gravitationally bound to the corresponding star. In other words, the transit method does not observe the actual exoplanet, but only the changing brightness of its star. Although this is an indirect form of observation, some detailed information about the corresponding exoplanet can be obtained by the transit method. In addition to the orbital period, the planetary radius, and the orbital inclination of the celestial body, this also includes information about the atmosphere, the albedo, and the temperature. So far, about 80% of all known exoplanets have been identified with the help of the transit method. As we see, it's the absolute exception that experts ever see the corresponding exoplanet on an image. All the more exciting are those cases in which researchers actually succeed in capturing a distant planet with a camera. Planet 2M0437b is one of the few exoplanets that our terrestrial eyes have been able to take a direct look at. But how are such galactic images actually possible? Glimpsing a Strange World as we all know, planets don't usually have their own luminosity. The light that makes the celestial bodies shine is generated by their albedo, or in other words, by the reflection of the incident starlight. However, the matter is somewhat different with still very young planets. In fact, these celestial bodies are still so hot that they glow red, and they are even brighter in the infrared part of the spectrum. So, we have the planet 2M0437b. This celestial body, which is about 400 light years away from our earthly home, even belongs to the brightest and consequently also to the youngest exoplanets that we've added to the star maps. For this reason, experts were also able to photograph the exciting planet regularly over a period of three years. Not only does the exoplanet still carry much of its heat of formation, but it also orbits its host star at a distance roughly equivalent to 100 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. This galactic gap, in turn, is naturally associated with the fact that the exoplanet currently receives virtually no light from its parent star. However, the distance between the planet and its star will shrink steadily over millions of years, making it increasingly difficult in the distant future to detect the exoplanet against the brightly shining background of its cosmic fixed point. Basically, it's assumed that 2M0437 has an age of about 2.5 million years, which means that the planet is still in its galactic infancy. 
the temperature of the exoplanet, which presumably has three to five times the mass of Jupiter, is therefore a red-hot 2,000 to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. In future investigations, experts would like to find out whether this object in the Taurus molecular cloud might have a moon-forming disk. Super Saturn The reason why exoplanet J1407b is rightly called Super Saturn becomes clear when we take a look at the enormous ring system surrounding the celestial body, which is 430 light-years away from us. While the hundreds of thousands of ring orbits of Saturn already leave us agog, the rings of J1407b surpass all dimensions imaginable so far. While Saturn's outermost ring has a diameter of about 600,000 miles, the counterpart of J1407b has a diameter of 75 million miles. It's assumed that the gigantic ring orbits actually serve a very special purpose. They represent the birthplaces of moons. In fact, scientists have suspected for some time that, in the early days of planets, natural satellites were formed within such characteristic gas and dust disks. Also, the star to which the super Saturn is gravitationally bound is, at 16 million years, still very young. Particularly striking is the fact that a large gap exists in the enormous ring system of the exoplanet. Researchers assume that this gap is due to the effects of an Earth-Moon-sized satellite orbiting in the corresponding region. Hat P7b We have known about the existence of exoplanet Hat P7b since 2008. This celestial body, which is not only larger but also more massive than Saturn, orbits its host star at a relatively short distance. In addition, the planet is tidally locked, which means that it always turns one and the same side towards its host star. As a result of this formation, there are immense temperature differences between the different areas of the exoplanet. While the constantly illuminated day side of Hat P7b shows temperatures of more than 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermometer on the bitterly cold night side drops to values of negative 3,505 degrees Fahrenheit. Furthermore, the celestial body belongs to the darkest exoplanets discovered so far. Specifically, the planet has an albedo of less than 0.03, which means that it absorbs more than 97% of the incident starlight. However, the planet in the constellation Swan has several other unique characteristics that leave us in pure amazement. For example, researchers have been able to prove that clouds of corundum, the mineral from which sapphires and rubies are formed, exist on the night side of the planet. Since on Hat P7b, violent storms repeatedly break loose, it is to be assumed that the natural gemstones are practically scattered across the entire celestial body. HD 189773b However, Hat P7b is not the only planet with curious weather phenomena that differ drastically from the precipitation on our terrestrial home. There is an exoplanet about 64 light years away from our solar system, on which not water particles or precious gems, but razor sharp glass particles fall from the sky. These microscopically small particles, which are driven by violent storms and whip through the planet's atmosphere at a speed of up to 4,350 miles per hour, also give the celestial body its deep blue color. In detail, the play of colors is caused by the light reflections generated by the tiny glass particles. In fact, the celestial body is the first planet in history whose actual coloration could be determined with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope. But even apart from its constant showers of glass, HD 189773b has some features that leave us all dumbfounded. For example, we know that the object in the constellation Fox needs just two days to completely orbit its parent star. Due to the small spatial distance between the planet and its host star, surface temperatures on the exoplanet reach more than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. In 2008, three years after the discovery of the planet, NASA announced that water vapor, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide could be detected on the celestial body. This realization is considered an important signpost for the proof of other chemical compounds possibly caused by extraterrestrial life forms. 
Indeed, two years later, the next galactic shoe dropped with the help of transit observations. It was determined that up to 100 kilotons of atomic hydrogen escape into space from the outermost layer of the planet's atmosphere within one second. In fact, HD 189-773b is only the second exoplanet where such a phenomenon has been observed. We're interested in your opinion. Which of the featured celestial bodies captivated you the most? Do you know of any other unique exoplanets that didn't make it into today's post? We're already looking forward to your comments. Are you in the mood for other exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other contributions on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.